and people come from all over the world to seek a cure. I went to my doctor in Houston. I had a pain in my shoulder. It's been like that for about six months. First he gave me steroids, uh, didn't really get better. So he said, you're going to China, why didn't you try acupuncture? And as soon as I come out of a session, you can immediately feel that the pain has gone away. I'm here to stop smoking. I have high cholesterol is what I have, and if I continue to smoke, I could have either a heart attack or a stroke. So, you know, both health reasons and, you know, my own moral reasons to stop. That one hurt. Mm, sorry. It's time for the needles to come out. If they're working, she should feel sick when she smokes. Oh, you want me to try? Does he want me to try to smoke? In here, it's okay to light up? Okay. 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 Yeah, I feel a little nauseous. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna put this out. This is making me sick. <laughs> okay. Whatever parts of my body that he was working on just made me a little nauseous. This just really, the smell just made it worse. So there is something to Chinese medicine, definitely. Today's health alert, it has one local man feeling like himself again. An acupuncture technique used to alleviate pain in wounded soldiers returning from Iraq has made a big difference for this Marion man injured at home. A garage door fell on and hit me in the back of the head and knocked me to the ground. But an acupuncture needle is extremely fine. After suffering a nonstop headache for five months, 84-year-old Nick Waycaster turned to Asheville acupuncturist James Whittle. He came in, you know, he's somewhat skeptical of acupuncture, as a lot of people are when they first come in. But we got really, really good results with a particular pain technique that I utilize here at the Blue Ridge Acupuncture Clinic. The technique is ear acupuncture. Small needles are placed strategically around the ear, corresponding to pain perception centers in Nick's brain. After only one treatment... I went away without a headache. For the first time in five months? Yes, sir. What we see is, in about 80% of patients, the pain will be dramatically reduced. In Nick's case, follow-up care involves five needles placed in each ear for 20 to 25 minutes. That's required only once a month in an effort to keep his headaches away for life. In Asheville, Jay Siltzer, News 13. Nick says a treatment session is pretty much painless, even for those who tense up around needles. This is a genuine piece of new research. We plan to look deep into the brain during acupuncture to find out, one way or another, whether acupuncture is having a measurable effect on the body. A scan is first taken of the brain at rest, the baseline. So you can hear that. So that's taking images now. Now it's having a little bit of a baseline period while they're up, so to get effectively the mind or the thoughts while they're at rest. Then the team scan the brain when the needles are inserted. Hugh then twists the needle. This usually generates an achy, tingling sensation called de chi. When the needle is, is stimulated, you quite often elicit this de chi sensation. And acupuncturists often look for that. They look for a de chi sensation as, as part of the healing, healing activity of the, of the acupuncture. Three, two, one, start. Part of the excitement for me of this experiment is that it's really bringing together Eastern approaches to acupuncture and a really rigorous Western scientific way of thinking. And it could completely change the way that we see acupuncture. At last, results day. Now the results are looking really interesting, but Hugh, maybe you could just summarize the main findings for us really clearly. First of all, with superficial needling, you know, we get a picture in the brain of a this area lighting up, in other words, becoming activated, increased blood flow. 
And if you look at this, this brain here, this is the, the front of the brain here, and this is the back. And we have a cutout there, just so you can see inside better what's happening. That's no surprise. This is just the brain's normal response to the needle being lightly inserted. What we found with deep needling, if we had der chi, the der chi sensation of a needle, that's the aching sensation, what we picked up was deactivation. Areas of the brain here, further back, um, where the, we've, we've colored that blue. Acupuncture was having a real effect on the brain, and it was doing something completely unexpected. It was a result that surprised us all. That reinforces the idea that something quite special is happening, something unique to acupuncture, something physiological. Well, as a neuroscientist, I, I'm particularly interested in activations of the brain, but the surprising thing about this study is that we have deactivations, a decrease in neuronal activity, and that's something I think that neuroscientists have got to take into account. Well, for me, the most extraordinary thing is out of this whole study is that we've got what you might call objective evidence. We've got biological correlates of acupuncture. Something's happening in the brain when you put a needle in. Different things happen with superficial and deep, and they're clearly associated with acupuncture, and it's something you can actually measure and quantify. Superficial needles. But the team was even more excited to discover where it was happening. Associated with the needling, the superficial needling, also activated these deeper structures around here. The area of the brain affected by the deep needling was an area often called the limbic system. This part here was also activated. And what we know about these deeper structures is they're associated with our experience of pain. Or, yes, how we experience pain, how we modulate pain. And it's known as the pain matrix. So, the discovery that parts of the pain matrix become less active by deep needling with de chi is astonishing. Why? Why on earth? Would just that de chi sensation, you know, be associated with deactivations? That's, we don't know. But when you tie it in with the fact that acupuncturists use de chi, does then these deactivations start to give us the, the key to how acupuncture works? That's what puts a smile on my face. It's just incredible, I think, the way that acupuncturists say what really matters in acupuncture is de chi. And then here we are, you, neuroscientist, is saying, oh, we find that this amazing thing going on in the brain that we don't really understand that well, the deactivation, the being less active than normal, that only seems to happen during de chi. And maybe that's coincidence, or maybe that's the key to something really interesting. <laughs>